If you are thinking of building a new robot, you need to learn how to control DC motors. One of the easiest and cheapest ways to control DC motors is to implement the L298 motor driver module with Arduino. For example, the L298 in motor driver module, which is one of the driver models, can simultaneously control the speed and rotation direction of two DC motors. The L298 module has a 5 volt regulator that can be enabled or disabled via a jumper. When the jumper is in place, the 5 volt regulator will be active and provide the supply voltage from the motor supply voltage. In such a case, the 5V pin of the input terminal acts as a half amp 5V output that can be used to power the Arduino or any other circuit that requires 5V power. By removing the jumper, the 5V regulator is disabled and we need to create a separate 5V voltage through the input terminal. Only if the motor supply voltage is less than 12 volts, the regulator activation jumper can be put in place. If the motor supply voltage is more than 12V, it is necessary to remove the jumper to prevent damage to the regulator. Pins IN1 and IN2 control the rotation direction of motor A, and pins IN3 and IN4 control the rotation direction of motor B. The two speed control pins E and A and E and B are used to turn the motor on and off, as well as to control the rotation speed of motors A and B. Applying high causes the engine to start and applying low causes the engine to stop. The number of revolutions can be controlled by applying PW UM pulses. These pins are the output of the motors. The voltage drop of the L298 driver is about 2 volts. Therefore, to achieve the maximum nominal speed of the motor, it is necessary to consider the motor supply voltage which is given to the input terminal of the module, about two volts more than the maximum nominal. Voltage of the motor. Let's start this module with Arduino.